based on a true story. Told to me by a chronic masturbator who happens to be a pathological liar, so you know it's true. This is a story about an ex. He would do crazy stuff, things that make me question the relationship. But pussy too bomb. Hey! Wake up one morning to the sound of a razor. See her shaving my asshole across from her, a lubed up dildo. <laughs> Absolutely traumatic. But pussy too bomb. Ooh. She had to rub me over with her car. I was just chilling outside of Barnes and Nobles and I just saw this big BMW came out of nowhere. Chase me down the highway <laughs> and texted me the next day like you look like a sexy gazelle. Running away from my big BMW. And I know what you're thinking. No, I didn't leave. Pussy too bomb. Yo. She was convinced I was trying to have sex with my mom because my mom would message me after hours. She considered anything after 7 p.m. after hours. <laughs> Said I had a seductive tone about it. Recorded a couple of the messages, played it back for me. Looked me dead in my face and was like, why you have a rasp in your voice like you're trying to dick her down? And I know what you're thinking. Didn't leave. Pussy too bomb. When they crazy, the pussy magnificent. Woke up in a tub of ice one day. She was standing across from me. So I asked her like, w w what's going on? She said she's gonna check if my heart was still there. Because she was convinced that I gave my heart to another. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I called the police. That was the last straw. Got placed in a mental institution. I have finally moved on. Chilling, taking a shower. Looked through my see-through curtains. Saw her standing there, bloody, with a knife. Staring at me. And I would have ran. But pussy too bomb. Woo! Woo! <laughs>